The warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. The teams then, France against Australia. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. We stand for the national anthem of France. France have elected to go 4-3-3. Well, in this formation, the wide players can be the most attacking and sometimes a pair of extra fullbacks. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, the very exciting Antoine Griezmann. Uh, he has an impeccable first touch, and with the ball under control, he can use as many skills and, and swift changes of direction in, in running from out to in, and he wreaks havoc. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. it through now surely looks like a good ball through well, they are working very hard to get it wide now Jim yeah that's that's true and is that how you're seeing it yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh... it's Giroud! It's in, and that looks to me very much like an own goal. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. as it may have been, they all count one. That's not going to make it. Mondi. He's left his man, and the counter is on. Must score, and shoots! He's got away with one there. That's what all good teams do these days. 
Pressing from the front is highly effective. Steered out wide. TT hurtles into the tackle. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Out to the flank. He's got away. Forward it goes. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Pogba tries to stroke it through. There's the delivery. He can get that clear. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Chalet plays it forward. Pogba. Wiesman floats one over. Goes for goal! That is special! Olivier Giroud! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. France get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Jalé tries to get it forward quickly. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Going through. So what now? Griezmann. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Well, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Tries a through ball. Has a swing at it. They are rampant. And they are disappearing out of sight. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pastor to pick him out. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Jedinak. He's gone for it! And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Australia would seem to still be getting over the OG. It was an honest mistake, and they've got to move on. The action has already resumed here. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. Tried to play it through. Uh, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. He's left his man. Corner given. Up to meet it. And oh, he's got that completely wrong.
it's Giroud. And the weighted pass. Done very well to intervene. Giroud battles to win it back. Giroud tore at them and just came up short. Pogba proves too strong there. He's got away. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. pretty clear that he's being singled out well they've got to deny him time and space and and that's one way of ensuring it and TT Kishelde aimed low and direct you would think the first substitutions will be coming up pretty soon out to the wing he spotted the run and played him through can he score and he's there to hoof it away going through fine run and he's happy to keep going oh that is lovely footwork let's yet in he's had a shot he forgets just about enough of it well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed. <laughs> Looking to shoot! Danger averted for now. Forward it goes. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions, besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Griezmann. Chalet. Giroud. Well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. chance from a corner good save he got a decent fist on that threw himself at it but he's got it cleanly tries to get it forward quickly oh good interception Sidibe Griezmann There is the final whistle. Australia thoroughly outclassed here. They came up against opponents who were better in all areas. No argument. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, look, it was very one-sided. Their players.